a really fabulous and favoured by many gun just got better. It has only just arrived in the country and I have had a fistful to try and use. And what a dream gun. <laughs> and welcome to AAR on Air. And I just know there will be quite a few of you out there who have been eagerly awaiting this week's gun. And here it is, the AGT Eurogan 2. You know, AGT is starting to get quite a following over here in Blighty and for a very good reason. The quality is superb and the accuracy is really consistent. I've had my hands on quite a few of these in the last week or two as they've only just arrived in the country and they are being fully tested by Carl at Vector Air and he is busy completing his orange mod on all of them. You can, of course, have them in FAC or sub 12 foot pound option. The only restriction at the moment is that they are only available in 0.22 caliber, as there is a bit of a backlog on trying to get hold of the barrels in the other calibers. Now, I have the carbon fibered stock version with me at the moment, but I've had my sticky little mix on the black polymer the green laminate, the walnut, and the rather bold red laminate. Surely there's one out there for everyone. The quality of the stocks is top draw, and of course you can interchange them very easily. If you either fancy a change or want a polymer to go out hunting with and a fancy laminate when you're down the range. Note I say you can interchange them easily. Getting hold of a second stock is the clever bit because demand for these things is that high that there aren't currently any spare stocks out there. But I'm pretty sure when the world slows down from this crazy period, they will be available before too long, hopefully. If you wanted one. Anyway, I haven't even started the walk around yet. They are eight. 89.5 centimetres or 35 and a quarter inches long with a 600 millimetre barrel. There is going to be a longer version available, which I believe is a 700 millimetre barrel, but I would suggest you only go down that route in the higher calibres and higher power specs, which is what the longer barrel favours. The weight of these is going to depend on the stock option you choose because the carbon version is somewhat lighter. It tops the scales at a mere 2.7 kilograms or 5 pounds 15 ounces unscoped. So not exactly a heavyweight if you want to go out in the field for a spot of overnight pest control. From the front then, this thing is threaded with its AGT's standard 14 millimeter thread and not the half inch UNF silencer thread. There is a choice of either 100 millimeter or 150 millimeter AGT silencers that are available to fit if you want an ultra quiet gun. They do reduce the sound, but it isn't what I would call loud to start with but it does become whisper quiet with either of the silencer sizes fitted. The barrel is 600 millimeters long, as already stated, and is fitted as standard and shrouded with around 150 millimeters of suppression built into that end of the shroud. The air tank or cylinder underneath is a quality carbon fiber item that is easily capable of filling up to the 300 bar maximum safely and with a reserve of 530 cc's this should be sufficient shots for most anyone in either sub 12 foot pounds or the higher power of the FAC or full power options. This tank then has an alloy cradle underneath with a built-in Picatinny weaver rail for bipods or other preferred toys. The rail is then matched up with the 20MOA rail on the top for your preferred scope. As always, hinting at this gun's longer range capabilities. 
certainly when in the higher powers. The side lever below is up to AGT's high standards as expected and is smooth and defined in action. This has a definite click to open and return to the close position. Of course, it is changeable from left to right to suit the individual shooter's needs and matches the ambidextrous nature of the gun. There is a new safety catch on the U2 and it replaces the in-trigger older version. It is a slide forward for fire and pull back for safe. The action is defined and yet smooth and silent. This will please the pest controllers out there who find a strong click on a safety and loud click can give away their position to the quarry on a still night. The red indicator is really bright. The air gauge is compact rather than a large item that would stand out a little too proud on this particular design of gun. The filler port is to the rear of that and is fitted with a dust plug to keep any grit and unwanted rubbish out of the way. It is worth noting that if you have a Eurogan 1, the supplied filler probe isn't compatible and this U2 is supplied as always with the new version. The tank adapter, two magazines, pen, key ring, bag and a bench top work mat. Which is really rather useful at keeping your new Pride and Joy safe when you're cleaning it, etc. The trigger is adjustable but comes with a nicely short first stage and a light second stage. It does fill you with confidence and you know exactly where you stand with it. These are very comfortable with the ergonomic grip and the polymer cheek rest, not to mention the flush out of the way magazines and of course the height adjustable butt pad. The .22 cal magazines are the usual 12 round items and are pretty simple to load by just turning, dropping in, turn, drop in, turn, drop in and so on until it's all full. Really simple and easy to use. Okay, let's just take a quick look at the power output of this one, shall we, over the chronograph. Using 15.89 grain pellets, it saw 575 feet per second, which is 11.67 foot pounds or 15.82 joules, which is more than enough and gives a little leeway if you're likely to try some heavier pellets in there. Time to get this out on the range. 40 meters should be a reasonable test for a sub 12 pound version. I did drop in some lighter 14.35 grain pellets to try and get the speed up a little and flatten the trajectory. Let's see if it works, shall we? Eurogan 2. Currently only available in 2.2 in the UK. They will be coming in in 177 and other calibers, but at the moment there is a shortage on the barrels, so they're only available in 2.2. My Choice, first choice would always be a 177 to show target work because it's flatter trajectory, a bit easier, more of a target gun as far as I'm concerned. But we've only got the 2.2. Now I've never found that a problem actually with Eurogans, but we're going to soon find out. I have loaded it up. I've zeroed the Continental in approximately, I think I've took three, four shots to actually zero it something like. Let's see how we go. We're down at 40 meters. This one has got the carbon fiber stock. Now, when you say carbon fiber, this is proper carbon fiber. It's not a wrap. It's the genuine article. And when I first picked it up to actually bring it down to the range to actually shoot, I thought, whoa, it is very much lighter than the other laminate stocks or the walnut stocks. You can definitely tell. It's more expensive, but it is definitely lighter and makes a whole gun just that little bit lighter all round. So, large capacity air. Let's give it a go. Oh. 
it is really rather warm today but the good news is there's not a lot of wind about It's doing the usual AGT trick. And that is to put everything through the same hole. Yes, it might broaden it, widen it slightly, but it's still going through the same hole. Yeah, just keep going and going. You really wouldn't have any problem whatsoever doing the beer bottle top challenge. You would have no problem whatsoever in taking uh, paint bowls out, down to, I would have thought, 43, 50 cal. No problem whatsoever. You just finish it with paint everywhere. It's not going to miss. It's just the 2.2. It's not the 177. The 177, to my mind, will probably be more accurate. I could be wrong. But it is just an absolute dream to use. Comfortable it's engineered well as all AGTs are. There are some subtle differences between the Eurogan 2 and the Eurogan. Nothing that's going to be so radical that you're not going to be interested in it. Oh, I don't like it now. You're joking. It's, it, it, they've kept the heart of it and just made subtle changes to make it that little bit better. Yeah, nice gun, nice gun. I can just keep shooting it and I probably will. But for now, Carbon version, nice. Back to the studio. Well, I would call that a result and a success. It is a real pleasure to shoot and these things just feel like they can't miss. No fancy electronics, just quality barrels and build and a complete package that works. I would say this would make an amazing gun in FAC power. Maybe with some testing of preferred ammo and maybe some slugs that suit it. This is a fabulous gun to shoot and I can see anyone buying one of these becoming completely and utterly smitten very quickly. Are there huge differences between this and the Eurogam 1? Outwardly, not a lot. Inwardly, I believe there has pretty much been a full rework. And if you ask Carl down at Vector, he'll go off on one like a follically challenged James May spouting all the individual differences, improvements and peculiarities. Just take it from me. It's a well-sorted bit of kit that will give you full credibility down the range or very easily sort out your pest problem without too much trouble at all. Cost-wise, well, all this quality does come at a price. And in this super light carbon fibre format will set you back around £2,000 UK. The laminar or walnuts work out slightly cheaper at 1850 and the synthetic is the lowest price at around £1,600 UK. As always, I've had a great time shooting this and I love the way it makes you look so proficient and capable. Truth is, it will outshoot most people with ease. Hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the new U2. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, feel free to share and don't forget to hit the old alarm bell to be notified when new programmes come out. After saying that, you can usually set your watch by the regularity of the Friday morning releases. Join in in the chats on these platforms and of course the guys at Airgun Factory who do a sterling job of running the platform and keeping it clean. Thank you guys. Take a look at the AAR website and genuine merchandise. A big thank you to Carl at Vector Air who has been working his tail off with these U2s whilst I've been hovering over him asking when I can take one in that annoying are we there yet dad? kind of voice. And finally, as always, a big thank you to you guys for supporting the channel. Please stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully 
I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye for now.